We have the beautiful baby girl in her lovely Christmas sweater and we are checking out Christmas lights right now, which is going to be really exciting. Are you super excited? Are you super excited for me to play Christmas music no. in a minute? Yeah, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. Ooh, look at the F-18. Where? Where? <gasps> wow, I love how you can tell that's an F-18 and it's just like some freaking Christmas lights. I mean, it's probably just a generic thing, but it... <laughs> they were probably like, this looks like a fighter jet. say to that Holy crap. so we've been watching yeah, mr. blackout mr. blackout 81. mr. blackout 81 on YouTube well actually well it is on YouTube but it's on the TV for like the past two three days like constantly just watching his gaming videos because they're entertaining for me too Blake has been trying to get into the warlords of Draenor beta no yeah. Game. Not, oh, the game, the actual game, not the beta, sorry. Like, have you even played it yet? A little bit. A tiny bit? What did you think of the moment where you did get to play it, though? It was fun. I wanted to play more, but, like, can't because of the queue. So that's why we started watching this. Yeah. It Pretty should much. Be, it should be over by the end of the weekend. You think so? I hope. You ate all of your dinner? What? Ew! Oh, like Bubbled stuff. up! <laughs> Your cheeks just kind of... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> we also ordered a pizza oh, no. <laughs> for dinner tonight. Pretty much right when I turned... Hey! <laughs> Gross! I paid for it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> pretty much right when I turned the camera off, our pizza arrived. We were kind of boring today and just went for... Eh! Sorry. Just went for the, uh... Oh yeah, Blake's really excited uh, about that too. We yeah. got a cookie pie. Sorry, I, I had to show them. It's okay, I know. I'm really excited. So, we've never had the cookie pies before. We ordered from Pizza Hut. We pretty much always order from Pizza Hut because it's like... It's literally right down the road. It's right down the road, but it's also the cheapest pizza. When we first moved here, we heard really good things about this one pizza joint, Metro oh. Pizza. Do you remember that? Yeah. And did we ordered order? once. Yeah, we did. We, we did. And it was for delivery. And it was... <laughs> It was $42 for like a large pizza. And but the large pizza was like not even that big. Yeah, but also the delivery charge. It was seven dollars. And then you had to tip but on top it, of that. Yeah. And it, it was just, it was really expensive. It was and the thing ever. Well, yeah. worth it. So it was like forty two bucks for like pizza but, delivery. Rosados. Oh yeah, that place was good. Do they, I think they deliver too, but I've never tried delivering. Yeah, no, but they're really good. Yeah, we had yeah, done that like before too. too. Mm -hmm. Pizza Hut's kind of our go-to because also every Friday night they come out with like really good coupon codes, like really good coupon codes. So every Friday night it's pizza night. Pretty much. Today is an exciting day because I finally bought my plane tickets to leave the country this summer, and I'm so excited about it. Strangely enough, was it was cheaper to buy two one-way tickets than a single one-way ticket. And I always wanted to buy a one-way ticket just because it gave more flexibility because I don't know what country I'm gonna be in when it's like I wanna go home sort of thing. A one-way ticket from Las Vegas to Berlin, which is where I'm gonna start all of this. It was absurd, it was like 750 bucks or something, $700 for when I wanted to go, but, a one-way ticket from Las Vegas to JFK nonstop was like $145. One-way ticket from JFK to Berlin with a layover in Oslo was like 340 bucks, which is like 500 bucks total. So it was like $200 cheaper to buy two one-way tickets than one one-way ticket. So that's what I did. <laughs> I'm leaving Vegas June 3rd at like 10 o'clock at night, but I get to JFK, I get to New York City at like six in the morning. June 4th, my flight to Oslo, it's at like 9.30 at night. So I have over 12 hours of a layover in New York City. My flight from JFK to Oslo, I think I land like 10 a.m. is when I land in Oslo. And then I have another long layover. This layover, like a seven or eight hour layover in Oslo, which is also really cool because then I can explore Oslo a little bit. Not as much as I could in New York City. And also I have to take into account like immigration and customs and all that stuff. So that's gonna happen. And then I get to Berlin at, I think it was like 7.30 at night, which I think is perfect because it's not too late where I have to stress about like 
finding a hostel. I'm gonna be booking the hostel ahead of time so I don't have to worry about it. All I have to worry about is transportation from the airport to the hostel. So hopefully it'll all go okay. I'm just really pumped because now I have a definitive plan. I will be in Berlin on June 5th. 2015. It was funny though, I tried to buy the tickets last night. The first leg of the trip is Virgin America, and then the second leg of the trip is Norwegian Air, and Norwegian Air had like the cheapest tickets I'd ever seen. It's a budget airline that kind of flies over the Atlantic. They kind of kill you in fees. Like I had to pay to reserve a specific seat on the plane, which I've never had to do before because I've never flown a budget airline. I had to pay for a meal too, and it's expensive stuff, so that happened, but the funny part was last night is when I tried to book it and my card wouldn't go through. It didn't go through at all. It said it wasn't authorized. And I was like, what? I have enough money to do this. Why can't I buy this? I thought it had something to do with my browser. I went into Firefox and I tried it there and it still wouldn't work. And then I was like, okay, why isn't this working? Oh, maybe it's because I didn't update my address when I registered my account on Norwegian Air. So I went in and I updated my address because I thought it was interesting that I put in all my credit card information and they didn't ask for my address. Cause usually they do that. Like when you buy something, it asks for your billing address. It didn't ask for my billing address, so I thought, oh, well, they're gonna use the billing address that I put in my computer, and I'm lazy, and I still haven't updated my my Chase account to be that I'm living in Las Vegas. It's still my home back in Washington. And I put my contact information, my address on Norwegian Air's website as my Las Vegas address. So I was like, oh, it's that's, that's what's the problem. It's not going through because it thinks it's trying to bill to Las Vegas and it's obviously that's not gonna work. So I went in and I updated my address to be my Washington address and it still didn't work. So that's like three times. And I was like, okay, I'm not gonna do it anymore because I don't wanna be charged three times like for this ticket or whatever. And so this morning I wake up and I had a voicemail from Chase being like, did you authorize these plane tickets to be bought? Blah, 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 blah. They didn't allow those transactions to go through because they thought it was fraudulent charges. And so I was like, no, I called them up and got it all straightened out. They declined those charges. And then the guy on the phone was like, and don't worry, I'm gonna authorize Norwegian Air. The Norwegian Air transaction was happening in Norway. Like it was like Corvu, Norway or something. They were like, um, she doesn't, She's not in Norway, so I think that's why it came up as fraudulent anyway. So anyway, got that all mess all straightened out and I got my plane ticket, so we're all good. I have two plane tickets, well actually three plane tickets, Las Vegas to JFK, JFK to Oslo, and Oslo to Berlin. It's gonna be a fantastic summer. <laughs> and we haven't left the house today at all because Blake has finally gotten in to play the new WoW expansion pack, Warlords of Draenor, which he has been so excited about for months, like months now. And um, he was really bummed because apparently there were like huge server issues, nobody could get on to play. And um, so he was like waiting in the queue for like an open spot in the server and the server was like so overloaded, he would have had to wait like four hours to even get on. And he's like, I don't wanna deal with that. So. Um, I guess they had like some big maintenance reset or something last night and now he has been playing all day long. It is like 4.30 in the afternoon. I'm pretty sure he started playing at like nine o'clock this morning. So I'm not really surprised because he's been so excited about it, but that's why we haven't left the house today. What? The song sounds like summer after graduation. Yeah, this is a high school song. It was a high school song. Yeah, it was a graduating class song. No, I mean, it wasn't our graduating class song, but it was like just one of those songs on repeat all the time, graduating year high school. So minor setback of the day, I took a shower today expecting to hop out and dry my hair and act, like actually not look like a hobo today. I got out of the shower, I did my makeup, and then the hair dryer is broken. So, couldn't dry my hair today. So instead, while it was still damp, I threw it up in these huge rollers. So I'm not even sure if this is gonna help at all, but I'm really hoping it will. <laughs> what do you have? What is that? Is that a sock? Do you have a ball of socks? Do you have a ball? <laughs> Human, get away, it's mine. Whatever. The vlog is going up late tonight, specifically because we're gonna go check out some Christmas lights. There's like a big Christmas um, drive-by sort of thing that you can see, and tonight's the only night that military, I think it's either free or really discounted, so we're gonna go check out these Christmas lights and see what they have going on. And then it's up by the base, so 
I don't know, maybe we'll get some food there or something. We had lots of leftovers. Last night I made chicken stir fry, but I also threw in some like some yakisoba. And so it's like, actually it looks very much like Panda Express. <laughs> I have to get a hold of a new hair dryer, which was not exactly what I was expecting to have to do. <sighs> Whatever. That's life. <laughs> we have the beautiful baby girl in her lovely Christmas sweater and we are checking out Christmas lights right now, which is gonna be really exciting. Are you super excited? Are you super excited for me to play Christmas music yeah. in a minute? Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be awesome. So they do this thing every year at the Las Vegas Speedway, which is like right, I don't wanna say like right across the street from Nellis, but it's like really close to Nellis. We tried to go last year, I think, but either the line was too long or it was too expensive. And I don't remember which one it I was it or was, a combination of the two. Yeah, it might've been a combination. Yeah, we were like, ah, maybe this isn't a good idea. Yeah. But tonight it's free for military. So we're like, well, this is probably as good a time as any to see this Christmas light display. Ooh, look at the F-18. Where? Where? <gasps> wow, I love how you can tell that's an F-18 and it's just like some freaking Christmas lights. I mean, it's probably just a generic thing, but it... <laughs> They were probably like, this looks like a fighter jet. So it turns out they had their own Christmas station that we're supposed to listen to, so we are. It's your favorite music of all time. They also have, apparently, there's like gifts or something on the table and they even have dog treats for Noel. <laughs> She's so excited. She doesn't even know what's I going know. on. Oh, there's hot cocoa. Look, there's a thing that says hot chocolate. Oh, yeah. We need to get hot chocolate. Oh, this is so festive. I love it. I'm so excited. I just love Christmas time. Noelle, there's people. She's like, she's looking up. She doesn't know about the Santa hats. Yeah. She's like, I don't know what those are, but they're scary. Hi. Hi. Here is a gift bag and program. Oh, thank you. And, and are you here for military night? Yes. I would just like to say thank you very much for your service. Thank you. And here is for your oh, Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank At the end of the lane, they're selling hot cocoa. Oh, cool. Ooh. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Happy holidays. Thank you, you too. There you go. People are so nice. Uh, Isn't it good? Yeah. Look at that butterfly up there. Listen to Christmas music in a year. That was so lovely. And I like the Christmas music stuff. Look, also, 23 miles an hour here. What does that mean? 23? Not 20. Not 25. Yeah. We listened to Christmas music the entire way home. And he didn't object at all. You did so well. You liked it. Sure. Hey, smile for me. No. Yes! You did. And, uh, yeah, we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> um, look at how pretty, no, <laughs> look at how pretty this puppy <laughs> is. 
She wore her Christmas sweater all the way through, and I think she actually liked the Christmas lights. Did you like them? Was it pretty cool? Yeah. I liked it. I thought it was really cool. We're going to get going, and I have to finish editing this video tonight. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, because when do we put out videos? Whenever you want. Whenever you get around to it. <laughs> Which Normally. happens to be usually Monday, Wednesday, Fridays at 5 o'clock Pacific yeah. time. We will see you guys on Wednesday. Bye. Bye. You silly. Mm -hmm.